Well, Dr. Bird, it looks like we've just finished setting things up. EKG levels of 500 watts, static and bloodline both monitored. Sir, we've taken every precaution. But there is still a major risk there. There is no exploration without risk or challenge, Dr. Lloyd. I've given my heart to the possibilities of the afterlife. The answers, Dr. Lloyd, to my life's questions are merely inches in time. I'm so anxious to find the answers. Will it work? Will it send you... Hurry! We'll find out. Yes, sir. OK, let's get this going then. just can't calculate where the pain is felt on a failed attempt. But we'll be keeping all eyes on the monitors, Howard. Red, a mysterious colour, Dr. Bird. Such an infatuating colour. No man or woman alive could resist the overwhelming draw of such a romantic, lustful, dangerous colour. Wouldn't you agree, Howard? I saw it from all the way. Maybe. The question should be, Dr. Bird, not why you were drawn to it, but indeed why you were willing to put so much effort into reaching it. Curiosity kills more than cats, Howard. Drink. So, what do you think of it then? His greatest plan of all. Freedom of speech and emotion, a sea of personality, held together by the grips of fear and disbelief. Today, you've achieved greatness. Today, you are the past and the present. And tomorrow, I am the future. You have brought upon the age of change. What's the matter, Howard? 
Aren't you drinking? That's the trouble with you and your kind. You swear to all the gods in every heaven that you believe. Yet you constantly search your lives and your science manuals to provide stable legs for your faith. And that is exactly why you're here now, isn't it, Dr. Bird? come for the answers to our debts and brought with you the miracle of life. Sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Howard? Harry, Harry, w w what happened? What happened, Harry? Uh, uh, Howard, are you all right? Uh, uh, what is uh, it? Uh, uh, 